Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to explain uh, or show you a practical demo on performance analytics. A complete a practical demo. Okay, from uh, a scratch to end. Okay, like uh, creating the indicators, creating indicator source, breakdown, breakdown source. Okay. Uh, and uh, creating uh, uh, dashboards, widgets, okay, how we can call, okay, all types of indicators like um, um, uh, automated indicators, uh, formula indicators, manual indicators, all, all kind of things uh, I'm going to show you with examples, okay. So, uh, so log into your log into your instance or customer instance okay so let's see what we are going to do today okay today uh, we are going to do we are uh, indicators we are going to create um, following indicators indicator source i mean uh, indicator sources Indicator sources, breakdown, breakdown sources, breakdown sources, um, uh, breakdown mapping, okay, or breakdown mapping, all types of indicators like uh, automated indicators, in the uh, indicators formula indicator manual indicator okay uh, targets thresholds thresholds widgets dashboards so all these things okay uh, all the all the things we are going to have in a single demo okay a practical demo with live examples so before um, we start creating we need to understand the requirement first what uh, we are going to do what we are going to achieve okay so the requirement so the requirement is simple okay so i need i need an average 30 days, okay. Uh, 30 days of uh, time, okay. Uh, average resolved time, resolved time, okay. So resolved time means here opened minus, uh, I mean resolved minus opened. Okay, resolved minus open. Average 30 days of a resolved time, resolved minus open. So in different um, uh, with the priority breakdown, priority breakdown, okay, priority breakdown and um, resolve code breakdown, okay and category category so all this uh, with all this breakdowns we need and we need to show we need to create a create a dashboard dashboard to show this indicator to show above results above results in different visual visualizations okay so let's see let's let's start to create all these things and you will get uh, all these things okay um so okay so let's see now uh, in your own stance okay uh, what we need to do is uh, Go to, I mean, I have uh, uh, go to performance analytics. Okay, uh, go to indicators, automated indicators, automated indicators. So we need to create an indicator, automated indicator. Okay, so 
uh, so so let's see okay let's see uh, create new so by how we can create a new automated indicators by going to the automated indicators click on new or create new so there are two different ways okay one if you create from here it will show you the widget all the things um, but automated indicator is like uh, uh, from here you need to fill all the details okay so we will create uh, first with uh, create new and then we will show if we need to create any indicators via automated okay for automated so then we will create an automated indicators okay let's see create new click on create new okay so the indicator name what will be the indicator name so indicator name uh, will be uh, what is our requirement our requirement is like um, average 30 days of resolved average resolved time okay uh, average 30 days of resolved time for incidents something okay let's uh, average 30 days of resolved time for incidents okay so you can add it will add the descriptions okay uh, so what you want uh, average in days or hours i need in hours okay i need in hours okay so let's group which one uh, incident closed okay uh, incident closed from incident to close we will get uh, whenever the incident is closed then because if you take incident result the result time may be varies so that's the reason okay incident close Mm, incident um, uh, indicator source which one uh, incident close okay so if you don't uh, we have existing indicator source okay if we don't have any indicator source okay so what you need to do is um, uh, you need to create an indicator source by going to indicators and indicator sources okay um, go to indicator sources and create a new indicator source like for example let's i will try to show you how incident closed uh, is created okay so incident closed is um, incident closed okay incident closed so valid frequency is daily okay uh, report source this is not coming from any reports if you have any report you can fax table is incident okay fax table is incident fax table is incident and um, uh, the condition is closed on today closed on today you need to add today okay so because it will run every day so it will uh, run okay close run today okay let's uh, this is how it is created and let's see this how it is the indicator source okay incident closed okay so you can see incident closed on today so yeah so that's simple okay list view if you want to have some any list view you can add a views okay whenever they click on source you will get the source okay so it's so simple okay so that's how you can create an indicator source so i'm not saving this one because we already have a incident source incident closed as an uh, indicator source so aggregate so what you want um let's i will do uh, a count not i will do a sum okay a sum okay uh, let's uh, let's see a uh, count first and no a sum okay a sum uh, if you have a scripted okay so oh, scripted no a field okay scripted okay scripted because you need to create some script that uh, um, that calculates the time uh, between resolved minus opened okay resolved minus open so let's see if we have any scripts uh, to calculate the time okay um store resolved okay mm, or so you can see incident resolve time our system already it is there script okay already scripted there okay 
so no need to preview okay so you can um you can go to favorite favorite and uh, you have scripts here automation scripts okay automation scripts uh search with incident incident resolve time hours okay resolve time hours so incident resolve time hours okay is a script or past table is incident so from this we are using only open and resolved fields only open and resolved fields and so here you have a function okay this is variable this is variable but this will be executing okay so this will be executing hours is equal to current dot open at comma current dot resolve it so the difference here you see open it comma current it resolve it okay so ours this is x and this is y so here where difference okay function okay hours so this is a variable also in the function it is passing x comma y so opened uh, minus uh, opened opened resolved okay return it is calculating different comma difference x comma y by 60 okay diff is nothing but diff is calculating y minus x so resolved minus uh, uh, close i mean resolved minus opened okay so that the difference you will get in the numeric so if you are dividing by 60 into 60 into 100 that is ours okay so that is ours so it will it will come in hours so that's the reason um, you are selecting the uh, in the general tab okay preview record for indicator source in the general okay okay uh, in, the, in the in the general next step okay in the previous step it is uh, let's go to previous step here we are using hours because of uh, this uh, result time hours okay we need in hours uh, okay then next next what uh, group we need to take what uh, okay for example i will take um, uh, priority priority incident channel incident channel these two okay these two okay these two for now and uh, we we want uh, one more thing called uh, resolve code that is not there that we will create it later okay that we will create it later and click next data collection yes we need a data collection okay uh, collect data from past seven days not past 90 days okay uh let's stop next job so select widgets for the new indicator okay so this is automatically creating the widgets okay for you okay so time series widget yes visualization line okay latest score yes um time series i want 30 days running yeah, average 30 days running average, right? Uh, 30 days running average I want, okay? Um, breakdown widgets. So I want in a new, new dashboard. So if you have a dashboard, okay. If you don't have a dashboard, select anything like incident overview and uh, I want like um, SD, service desk dashboard. Okay, something like that okay next step and summary so it will collect all these things and apply apply so once the widget is created and um, once the indicator is created and uh, the data jobs is also automatically calculated collect scores here okay so let's wait for uh, two to three minutes and let's see So view indicator, once it is created, you see everything is checked under. So view indicator, view indicator. 
So uh, it is created. Okay, average 30 days of resolved time of incidents. Okay, so hours. Okay, KMBG. Okay, incident close. Some. Okay, scripted. Okay, uh, collect records and uh, two breakdowns. It is there and job is temporary job. Okay, let's open this job. Let's open this job and you can see uh, 90 days from till yesterday. Till yesterday. Okay delay and uh, jobs collected is 95 records are inserted 95 records are inserted okay so let's close this one uh, and let's see let's see show analytical hub let's see the data in analytical hub okay so zero hours zero hours on yesterday okay so you can see on october 90 you have 477 hours average 30 days okay so click on this one this is sum of uh, hours of resolved incidents. Okay, uh, resolved incidents on uh, October 6. Okay, the resolved incident hours is this one. Okay, let's uh, verify. Verify it. Show records. Show records. You have uh, two incidents. Okay, two incidents. Two incident closed on uh, three months ago, that October 6th. Okay, show or two records are there, but I'm not able to see here properly. So let's go to incidents. Incident, all incident. Closed on October 6th. Closed on October, December, November, October 6th. And let's run it. So you got two incident. So you can see the open is six months ago. Okay. And uh, one it is seven months ago. And the resolved time we need to say. Okay. Resolved time. Resolved, resolved time or resolved. Okay, resolved. So you can see on three months ago, October 29th, or it's like resolved three months ago, okay? And on October 6th, it is closed, okay? So, so three months ago and six months ago. So if you, uh, maybe it is correct, okay? So the, there is a huge time period, okay, between these two, okay? So that's the reason uh, you are getting as an uh, um, 4,000 uh, hours, okay? 4,000 hours you are getting, okay? So if you calculated last 30 days, okay? last 30 days some last 30 days and go to today or actually apply okay and uh, okay let's uh, close this one and yesterday it's last 30 days sum is zero okay so if you go on here um on November 5th, the last uh, 30 days is sum is 73 hours. Okay, 73 hours. And if you click on this one, the last 30 days is 4008. Okay, so that's how it is calculated. Okay, so that is how it is calculated. Okay, so close this one. Close this one and So what we decided, we created one automated indicator. We created indicator source indicator. We need to create some breakdown, okay? Uh, one breakdown, at least one breakdown we will create. We added one breakdown, but uh, we did not add it, okay? So let's see in the indicators list, okay? Go to favorites, favorites, automated, no. Go to automated indicators. And let's search uh, average 30 days, our indicator. OK, our indicator. Here, if I click on show analytical hub, OK, and if I click on this one daily, OK, so here I have incident channel. 
okay one it is phone one it is email okay so the remaining are this one you can see okay you can see so here there are two lines okay so if i click on um, this one i will show the only phone only phone incidents okay so priority priority all critical incidents so if you go here all critical incidents okay so i want um, uh, resolve code where is resolve code resolution code okay so based on resolution code i need uh, uh, this one one it is closed resolved by caller one it is solved work so i want to add that um, breakdown also okay i want to add that breakdown also so what i need to do is uh, simple okay go to indicator you can click here and edit indicator you can do that okay edit indicator okay edit indicator breakdowns okay here you cannot create new one okay uh, in the manage breakdowns also you cannot create a new one but let's see if you have any resolution code or not you don't have any resolution code breakdown here okay or click on incident check on incident incident caller company you have but uh, there is no breakdown of a resolution code okay resolution code okay go back go back okay click on favorite go to breakdowns okay um, go to breakdown you can create automatic breakdowns or manual breakdowns or breakdown relations okay so first create an indicator source a breakdown source okay so go to new new breakdown source what you want to create is incident um incident resolution code resolution code okay resolution code so facts table is incident facts table is incident from which uh, which one it is um no facts table is not incident okay so the resolution code is choices table okay you, you cannot act as facts table okay the resolution code if you see the resolution code is a choice okay so the, here you need to select a choice field okay see choice yes choice table choice table and what will be the unique here this id will be unique here okay so what uh, choices you need to get is from table table is incident incident and uh, and element is element is resolution code right resolution code close code close code and inactive is false and so some for some uh, examples uh, you have only languages within different different languages so all you don't want only english language you need okay something like that so preview here 10 records are matching so show that matching see duplicate resolve resolve codes all the 10 codes from the incident table you got it you got it and save it save this indicator source or breakdown source okay save this breakdown source so under breakdown source you have breakdown okay breakdown click on new click on new okay uh, new here you call it as incident incident dot resolution code okay something like this and save it save it okay so you can queue the mapping from here or breakdown mappings or you can go to the indicator from there also you can do the breakdown mapping okay breakdown mapping is nothing but click on new click on new on which which table facts table incident incident is a fact table okay which field it is resolution code okay so such for or you will have a resolution code here okay 
resolution code and submit. So you have done the mapping, breakdown mapping is also done. Under which indicator you want to show, click on edit. Which indicator like average, average of 30 days resolution incident. So this one you need to add. Okay, this one you need to add. Okay, so now go to indicator. Okay, which um, favorites automated indicators, automated indicators search with average with your name and open it. Open it. So you will you got the resolution code here. Okay, so resolution code show analytical hub. Show analytical hub. Click on here on October 6th. Okay. So you got the resolution code. You got the resolution code, but zero hours it is showing. Why zero hours it is showing? So I have added the resolution code. Well, I have added all these things. Okay, but the thing is, it is not uh, uh, showing my result, actual result. Why? So there are no. For example, if I select priority, priority of first critical incidents, it is getting 4,000. Okay, and incident channel it is divided. Okay, based on. But when I select um, uh, resolution code, it is not showing any hours. Okay, what are the incident? My incident closed by resolved. Okay, so closed by resolved. You see, uh, closed by resolved. Do we have that one closed? Uh, close code. Why we have this one? Okay, so I think uh, it was uh, renamed. So let's go configure dictionary why we are not able to see closed by resolved. So on the resolution code, it is there. And the choice is, is this one, but why it is showing resolved, closed or resolved, okay? So resolved by caller, closed or resolved by caller. Okay, so it is having some, uh, So it is not mapped correctly. So maybe that's the reason. Okay, so uh, resolved by caller, we will add and um, resolved by uh, or known error, we will see. Okay, so um, let's refresh this one analytical hub. on October 6. It's all by call her and no error. Okay, it is not shown. Okay, so the reason because the jobs are did not uh, uh, capture all those things. So go to the indicator, go to indicator. In the jobs, okay. Uh, collect all breakdowns are there, right? Uh, exclude these breakdowns. Okay, you need to select exclude these breakdowns. Okay, so I don't want all these uh, uh, breakdowns to be selected. Okay, so only one breakdown exclude. So exclude um, these two breakdowns and save it. Okay, and then go back. So you are excluding So you are excluding uh, excluding these breakdowns. Okay, now run it, run the job, exclude, execute now. 
Okay, so you are collecting from 90 days. Okay, so those data you are not collecting, only the breakdowns uh, with the uh, resolution code you are collecting it. That's it. So let's wait and see it is going to complete soon. Okay, collected. Okay, so now go go to show analytical hub again. Show analytical hub and click on October 6th, the same date, and the resolution code you see now. You got it. Known error resolved by a caller. So that's how you have to run the uh, job. Okay, so when you added two, uh, when you have added two uh breakdowns and run the job and the later one later you need to add third breakdown or fourth breakdown or fifth breakdown then in the temporary jobs you need to exclude those collect because it will overwrite our uh, scores and it will uh, show you in incorrect value okay so that's the reason so that's the reason uh, okay you need to do it okay so now you have created a uh, breakdown, breakdown sources, breakdown mapping, all these things. Okay, so uh, now you see um, average 30 days of resolve time, resolve minus open. Average you, you are not, you have calculated only uh, days, okay, or uh, average days. Okay, some, okay, you have not calculated uh, uh, all average of 30 days, okay. So um, you have added this crap, priority breakdown, resolve category, all these things. Uh, I think we added while creating the dashboard, we added. So let's go to incident overview dashboard. Okay, so in the favorites, um, go to dashboards. Go to dashboards. So incident overview. So we created this SD, okay? So now you see uh, the one it is added, all these things, okay? Average, uh, resolved by priority, all these things are added. Average 30 days of uh, resolved incidents, okay? So you see average of average, but it is not the average. It is, you need to add uh, 30 days. Well, for example, this one, okay? You need to add uh, some, okay? For example, uh, zero hours, okay? 30 days running average, okay? So here you have added 30 days running average. Okay, so let's go, go to home or uh, go to dashboards, go to dashboard in, uh, sorry, go back incident overview in SD, okay? To edit the dashboard, click on plus edit, sign and see. Average, okay? Yeah, average, time series is 30 days running average, okay? So if you add, uh, here we are getting the zero, so that's the reason, uh, 350, 365 days running average we will take, okay? And update, and update. And so now you will get 54 hours, 365 days, okay? On December 25th, okay? To, till then, average is 54 hours, 54 hours, okay? Uh, all these things we are getting. So the same thing, if you click on this one, uh, if you click on this one, apply time series here, time series, 365 days uh, running average or some, anything, okay? 365 days running average. Okay, and uh, uh, update it, update it. You can see on December 25th, what is by category, it is showing by category. By category, so if we add 29, 24, or 1, 30, 54, 54 hours. Okay, 54 hours. That's it. okay, the same thing. Okay, you can add it.
Okay, so the widgets you can add the widgets in the dashboards like uh, you can uh, minimize it or you can adjust the length. Okay, okay, or anything. So first suppose the same widget. Okay, the same widget you have not added before. Okay, so the same widget you have not added up before. Okay, you can see the breakdown scorecard. Okay, breakdown by incident. Um, channel okay so let's uh, uh, what i will do is i will go back i will go back and i will remove this one average 30 days okay so to add it go to the performance analytics breakdown i will add new breakdown okay new breakdown i will add it there's a new breakdown Click here to configure the reuse. Okay, so here our indicator is um, um, average uh, uh, AVG average of uh, 30 days uh, resolution, which breakdown incident channel we need to use. Incident channel. Okay, time series is 365 days. Okay, 365 days. You can select any visualization, pie or donut or, okay, if I select a pie, okay, so what, uh, what will be, let's submit it. Okay. So no, okay. Um, average 30 days per incident by channel. By channel and submit it, submit it. And you see the results. So you got the result by by phone, email, walk-in. So only three are available. Only three are available. Okay, so if I want uh, email, okay, so what? Uh, how many hours? What is the pie size? Okay, so all these things. I, I need to uh, add some filter here so that, so that, okay, so that I can adjust my uh, hours. Like I want to see total hours by phone. Okay, how? Oh how to add it a filter okay if i add the filter it should apply for both only this two both okay so how do we how do i do it okay so in the dashboard go to the dashboard properties go to dashboard properties apply there is a breakdown source okay click on edit edit and which breakdown source incident channel okay incident channel you want and also you want incident by priority Okay, so two, you have added, okay, and go to update, update. So incident by channel, okay, let's see the phone, phone, how many are there, apply. So it is not reflecting. Well, I have added the breakdown source, but it is not reflecting here, okay. So what should I do? Okay, let's close it. Okay, so edit this um, widget, edit the content, okay, and click on follow element. Okay, and click on follow element, follow breakdown. So if you have uh, incident priority and incident channel, okay, if you want, uh, if you want to, if you want this widget to follow for both, don't mention anything. Okay, if you want uh, only incident channel to follow, add only incident channel here. Okay, in the follow breakdown. Okay, show multiple elements as aggregate. Okay, so it is showing as an aggregate only. We don't have any option here to uh, to change it. Okay, so let's click on update, update. So if I select email and apply, you see this one is changing and this one is not changing because we did not add a follow button to this widget. So edit it, edit this widget and click on follow element. Okay, click on follow element and update it, update it. Okay, so if I select email, I will see only email. You are seeing email, phone, hours. This is a uh, pie chart site. So that's the reason it will not uh, uh, filter out. Okay. So for example, if I uh, if I select a priority, 
priority and select critical incident critical incident so it is showing all okay so both are my critical incidents only right so high high if i select high that is not zero nothing 24 29 this is not applying why this is not applying click on edit button Okay, maybe uh, this is a pi and incident channel breakdown. It is there and the priority. If you select high, you don't have high or something. Okay, so maybe planning. So click on planning. So you don't have anything. 53 hours and one hour 54. One hour 54. Okay, so planning is one hour you have. Okay, but critical. So this is not applying because um, um, this is like a pi, so it is not following this one. Okay, so only this one is uh, applying. Okay, yeah. If you select a scorecard, okay, a scorecard you can see. Uh, and if you apply a critical here, okay, so that's how you can add a, um, a filter here, okay, a filter. So go to dashboard properties. OK, go to dashboard properties and you can add incident channel and incident priority, all these things. OK, under dashboard tabs, which dashboard tabs you have. OK, so you can restrict, you can disable multiple selection. If you click on this one and update it, OK, and update it. Now, if I select them, um, uh, incident priority so I can select only one thing okay but not multiple things at a time okay uh, multiple things at a time yeah read this one Okay, so you can change uh, uh, the breakdowns also. It's like, okay. Uh, you can set show indicator, show bar, columns. You can add what all the columns you can see. You can set uh, like five or maximum 10 or percentage or anything. Okay, anything you can do it. Okay, if you click on this one, latest score is previous score, okay? Follow element, okay? Score, this type is score, okay? So you can change from uh, uh, list to anything, okay? Like um, uh, type is breakdown, you can select a time series also. Uh, visualization is line chart, line chart, and average 30 days, okay? And uh, 365 days, okay? And update it, and update it. Okay, and you can add a follow element also. Okay, follow element, okay? So here in the time series, you will get a show multiple element as aggregate or separate. Let's see aggregate what will to do, okay? What it will do. Okay, so if I select, um, uh, you can see here the line, okay? If I select um, high and apply, 
So high is zero, okay? So if I, um, so let's go to dashboard properties and disable this uh, multiple selection and update it, update it. So if I select a high priority and planning together, so I'll see as an aggregate, it is mixed. Okay, so if I go to this uh, editor and select uh, as separate, I want as separate and update it and update it. So now you see uh, the planning, this is a critical one and this is the planning one, okay? So this is the planning one, okay? So in two different as a separate, I, I got it, okay? So that's how uh, you can create a dashboard to show this above results in different visualizations you can, okay? So we uh, we did not create a formula indicator we did not create manual integrator we created dashboards widgets we created so how targets and thresholds are uh, need to enable so everything we can do now okay so before going to that the formula indicator and um, um, uh, uh, target uh, i mean targets and threshold. So if you want to share this, uh, you can share to the groups or whoever, okay, or users and roles. It's normal dashboard properties, okay? So normal dashboard properties. Now we will see the formula indicator, okay? First, uh, let's do that one, okay? So for formula indicators, formula indicators, Okay, formula indicators, what will be? So what kind of a, a goal, what what is your goal and how you will cite the formula indicators? So let's see. So for example, uh, I need to know the percentile of, uh, percentile of unclosed uh, incidents or um, like uh, uh, unresolved incident or closed a percentage of uh, not closed uh, closed incidents open incident okay percentage of uh, open incidents you need okay or something like that okay how what is the percentage of open incidents um uh, this is easy okay so that is not much uh, uh, critical okay uh, but um let's see what all the existing formula indicators we have okay so let's go to favorites and the formula indicators okay and uh, you can see the percentile of a new critical incidents so new critical incidents you have that means um, uh, what all the number of uh, new critical incidents by, okay, by number of uh, new incidents. Okay, the same thing, same thing like a uh, number of um, open incidents by number of uh, uh, all incidents, right? So something that same thing we can do it, okay, uh, into 100, that is the percentile of uh, that one. Or uh, what you can do is, um, um, yeah, so here number of uh, uh, new incidents are there, but I need a number of um, closed incidents. Okay, so you can see number of, uh, this is percentile of number of critical incidents. Okay, so let's create a new formula indicator uh, by the percentile of uh, new closed, uh, I mean, um, closed incidents or whatever, or closed incidents, okay? Or open incidents, okay, open incidents, okay? What you can do is go to formula indicator, indicator, click on, click on new. We have a new incidents, okay? Percentile of uh, open incidents, open incidents. Okay, percentile of open incidents. Okay, and, uh, and save it. Save it. So here the uh, percentile, okay, percentile of open incident, save it. 
save it you need uh, is percentile okay so you need is percentile direction is you don't have direction for percentile okay key key indicator is so you can have a key indicator as a key indicator or something like that okay and say and in the formula indicator what uh, browse percentile of um, uh, open incident okay so browse so browse uh, number of new incidents okay uh, breakdown is like uh, okay you don't have here um, uh, assignment group or category okay so maybe you can have percentile of uh, new uh, okay we will change our uh, thing because we don't have a breakdown here so uh, we need to add a breakdown to get uh, incident state all those things so that's the reason okay so we will add category okay or uh, we will add the category and we will add a uh, wow percentile of uh, inquiry or help incidents are there okay inquiry or help okay by uh, by uh, browse indicator, browse indicator, number of new incidents, number of new incidents. Okay, so close the braces, close the braces, so into 100, into 100. So that is the percentile. Okay, so that is the percentile. Okay, percentile of a new, new inquiry incidents okay percentile of new inquiry incidents so as i told you before so you need to know what is your goal and what formula you have to use so to create a formula indicator without this formula and without the goal it is unnecessary to create a formula indicator okay uh, this is simple okay there are a lot of uh, formulas available so you can search it on the google or anything okay publish on analytics up yes you can set here visible to everyone or groups and rules are visible by all roles okay anything anything you can set others default time series okay uh, whatever it is okay you can select okay let's uh, let's see let's uh, save it save it okay save it so uh, now you can uh, show analytical hub okay so show analytical hub and uh, 0% here it is 25% you have on september 2015th you have uh 25 percent 25 percent okay so only 25 percent of records are there so there are no breakdowns available because we did not add any breakdowns here okay so you can add like daily or average okay all these things but you don't have a sum here you see here because this is a percentile okay so you don't have some but you can have an average all these things so the simple or formula indicator is very simple to create it okay so once you create the formula indicator um, what you can do is um, you can uh, go to uh, dashboard dashboard you can go to dashboard go to our incident overview and you can add it here uh, any um, performance analytics okay so you want uh, uh, you want something like in time series okay time series uh, you don't have a new time series okay add it here okay it came in up okay configure uh percentile percentile of um inquiry new incidents okay indicator uh percentile of new
new inquiry incidents. Okay, line chart or time series. Okay, submit it. Submit it. Okay, so you will get it. Okay, so here it is only 100% uh, is available time series. Okay, so the time series it is not showing the line properly, so you can add a column chart or not uh, area chart. So I don't know why a, this one is not uh, adding proper, um, you know, uh, here it is zero and here it is, okay, or something, okay. So you can add time series of 365 days average, uh, average, okay, something like that. So it is showing the 40% or 46% of uh, time series of new, okay, 365, 46%, 46% of incidents are created under the inquiry or help, okay, from last uh, 365 days, okay, average. It is average of 46%, okay, so that's the average. You can add some also, some you cannot add, only average you can add it, okay? So that's about formula indicators. Now a manual indicator, now a manual indicator you have to create, we have to create a manual indicator. So it's like a percentile of new incidents from phone call, okay? So I have copied from uh, other notepad, okay? Uh, so percentile of new incidents from phone call. So you know service desk will receive phone calls, okay? So so how many incidents are created from phone call, okay? You want to know new incidents, okay? So maybe for, uh, service desk may receive 40 and they may create 30 calls of incidents, 30 related to incidents, okay? Uh, so. Okay, so how many percentile uh, of uh, new incidents from phone call we need to create, okay? So this is something we don't have any phone calls uh, list from uh, for, sir, from service desk and service now, okay? So this they have to give us in an Excel format, okay? So that we need to load into the service now, and um, that's the reason we will be using a manual indicator, manual indicator, okay? So manual indicator is nothing but uh, the data is not available in service now, within service now, the data is available outside of service now. The phone call information is available outside the service now, that's the reason we are using manual indicator. So let's go to favorites, our favorites performance analytics. You have manual indicator. So I have already created this uh, indicator okay so if you um if you go open this one indicator okay so number of phones for service desk okay the number of phone for service desk unit is like hash okay and um, auto forecasting access control everyone okay publish on analytical hub also okay uh, and uh, we save it we save it then we save it so once you save it also what will happen is um, score for this indicator you need to open you need to open and you need to enter the indicator scores like 30 how many calls we received how many calls we received uh, like this so 35 45 30, 18, so you need to enter manually or, okay, you need to enter manually, okay. So if you have any questions, uh, what we will do is, um, so let's create a new uh, same information, same thing with the other, um, same information, okay, with other name, okay, same information with other name, because I have already created for other demo, so that's the reason, okay, so same information we will create uh, in the manual indicator, manual indicator, number of phones, okay, so here we will add um, phone, percentile of phone calls, uh, percentile of um, phone call incidents, in the events for service desk. Okay, so service desk. 
uh, has it and there's a key interview. OK, precision. OK, no need. OK, daily. OK, uh, published to Antical Hub. OK, so once you created it, OK, once you create it, once you create it, uh, you need to add scores for this indicator. OK, so on December 20th, uh, what are what are there? OK, December 28th, like uh, 20, 15, uh, phone calls, 30 phone calls, uh, 20 phone calls, like 25 phone calls. OK, 17, OK, uh, seven phone calls are there. So you have added the scores. OK, all changes saved automatically, so no need to do anything. OK, go back, go back and. And see in show analytical hub. OK, so you got it. OK, yesterday. OK, today. 24, 25th, okay, 23rd. So all these are created, okay, automatically, okay. So now if you want uh, any seven days or sum, you can apply seven days sum, all these things. Okay, so now you want some breakdowns to be available, apply, apply, okay. So there are some phone calls which received from South Zone, North Zone, East Zone, West Zone. OK, so how do I filter? How do I create this uh, breakdown sources? So breakdown sources, so for manual indicator, you have manual breakdowns. OK, manual breakdown sources you need to create. OK, uh, it's like external indicator, external breakdowns, for external data. OK, uh, manual uh, breakdowns, OK go to manual breakdown. So we already have created a manual breakdown called area. OK, area, north, west, south. OK, so the indicator users using this area is this one. OK, so what we will do is um, we will add. What is our formula here is num uh, new incidents from phone call by number of calls for ST. Okay, so number of calls for ST, we created it, number of calls for ST. So this breakdown is already applied, okay, here, and go to our favorites, manual uh, indicator, manual indicator, this is percentile of phone call, not phone calls for ST. OK, number of uh, uh, number of phone calls for ST. Phone call for ST, OK, so open this one, open this one, OK, and add breakdown, edit breakdown. So we are adding uh, area is the breakdown, OK, area is the breakdown. OK, so now area wise, what are the scores? We need to update it. 20 are there here. Yeah. Five. OK. Five, 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 five. 20 phone calls. OK, 15, five, five, five. And zero. 30. OK, like five, uh, zero. 10, 15, 30, OK? Like 5, 5, 5, and 5. 5, 5, 5, and 10, OK? 5, 5, 3, and 4, OK? Here is 0, OK? So that's it. Then we need to click on aggregate score. Some which area area you need to apply area. OK, so automatically it will add. So now if you phone calls for service test, go to show analytical hub. OK, so you can you can add how many uh, phone calls for North region. Five phone calls daily yesterday. How many? OK, so like that you can uh, you can calculate now using this uh, uh, manual uh, uh, indicator. You can also calculate the formula called like number of new incidents from phone by number of uh, calls for ST. 
okay formula indicator you can create it so for this yesterday i have created it uh, a new indicator formula indicator okay so number of phone calls for incident so what is the formula is number of new incident contact type is phone okay number of uh, phones for sd into 100 so that's it okay that's it okay so you have to apply breakdowns if you want the area breakdown here okay so using formula indicator you can calculate in the formula indicator you can call you can call manual breakdown also manual indicator also to manual indicator and automated indicator together okay okay that's about um, a manual indicator so we got to, we know everything about indicators indicator source okay mapping automated indicator formula manual okay so everything what is target and thresholds okay target and thresholds is simple so um, uh, go to any indicator for example uh, go to any automated indicators automated indicators okay what we created is um, uh, percentile of um, new uh, or incident okay such with incident okay number of um, incident not solved or anything okay or number of new incident okay go back again number of uh, we have number of new incidents so for this is a indicator show and grab okay so here we have added all this uh, okay let's uh, go take another indicator okay take another indicator because for this i have added all the targets and threshold number of new incidents um number of incidents closed by service desk so open this one open this one and i think the jobs are run i think okay so daily data collection job and historical data collection job or uh, run it historical collection job execute daily data collection job because it is not active so that's the reason we are executing all the jobs okay so let's close all the tabs here and show analytical hub now. Closed by number of incidents closed by. Okay, so you don't have in the last 365 how many incidents uh, average? So no, I think last 30 days, I think. So no data is there. Yeah. Edit indicator, edit indicator. let's see uh, the historical data is running or not job logs it is collecting it is running now daily data collection jobs okay historical data jobs is collecting 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 It's collected. Data daily collection. It is collected. So close, close now, and go to show and help. So we don't have any data, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, daily uh, last 30 days running no data. Last 365 days no data. So we don't have any data of uh, which are closed by self service. That's unfortunately. <laughs> we can't do anything but the thing is what we can do is uh, what we can do is how i will show you how we can add targets target what is targets and thresholds here so to add a targets and thresholds okay so targets and threshold is nothing but target like for example now it is zero so if it is meeting like 10 incidents or 20 incidents okay then it should uh, throw an alert to 
and stakeholder that okay it is met targets like 10 uh, self service incidents are created okay 10 uh, so so and so incidents are created and threshold is nothing but beyond that limit all time high incidents if you go if you created all time high if you created uh, something like that okay target is nothing but uh, global target personal target if you add global target uh, yeah new target like uh, okay uh, if if i got the uh, 10 uh, targets starting from today and uh, end on uh, december 31st and save it so a target a global target is uh, created okay a global target is created okay a global target is created okay and uh, if you cancel it zero so let's go to because data is not here so let's uh, um, uh, go back uh, go back to any indicator any other indicator and let's see if we have any data or not number of incidents not solved show an article hub last 30 days nothing last seven days nothing so this also we don't have any data okay uh, this also we don't have any data so go back okay so anyhow we'll open this one number of new incident show and tickle hub show and tickle hub okay today we don't have any incidents okay let's uh, uh, turn off thresholds so in the targets okay uh, targets we have two targets one it is global target one it is personal target global target starts from december 1st to january 24th the target is seven so the difference between global target and normal personal target is coloring global target is having like more dark and uh, personal is having less dark uh, less gray in color or dark gray in color or something like that okay so whenever this meets whenever it meets a personal target a personal or a target so it can trigger a notification to the users list so how uh, we define this user list okay same for uh, thresholds also thresholds also we define like all time high all time low okay so click on this one this is a threshold so all time high is eight all time is low is zero so whenever it uh, reach eight so it will uh it will create a comment on that one automatically comments on that one automatically so you can see the bubble buttons here so if i hover on this one so it will show okay december 24 number of new incident more than two is five okay something it uh, automatically okay and uh, number of incidents are low on december 23rd okay so you can see the comments are added automatically so this also it will trigger a notification so how it will trigger a notification so if you open uh, to which users it will trigger a notifications okay so in the uh, targets and thresholds are there in the target number of new incidents you see you see if okay go back here open with i so if this owner is there that is means this is a target is belongs to uh, personal okay personal and it will trigger only to the owner of the notification not to anyone okay so if i open number of uh, open incidents uh, where owner information is not there that means this is called uh, uh, this is uh, um, and global target okay global target so here you have users and edit the users list and add to whomever you need to send this notification when the target is met okay when the target is met so how this notification will trigger uh, the triggers like from automation you have a schedules here 
it check every day PA target is met or not, then it will trigger a notification automatically. OK, so in the notification list, you can find the PA target notification and you can edit the notification if according to your company or customer rules and regulations. OK, so that's about um, uh, targets and thresholds. So that's a complete end-to-end uh, -end, uh, uh, performance analytics of a practical demo. Hope you like it. Okay, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.